it's so fun. Jim is, is such a such an incredibly fun character to play because you know when you meet him, you meet him. He's the second officer on an ice hauler out in the middle of nowhere. He's from Earth. He wants to be out in the middle of nowhere. Like he spent his whole life running from responsibility and trying to answer to nobody. And um, he's a, so he's a kind of lighthearted, fun, idealistic guy in the beginning. A little bit selfish, just a little bit. And you know, he he comes across a circumstance where he you know, does the right thing and answers his distress call, and then he gets swept up into this conspiracy. And he's got to he's got to keep growing. He's got to keep living up to the circumstances that are thrown at him. So as an actor. It's got all these amazing colors to play with because the arc is so large. Because he becomes this kind of inadvertent revolutionary um, without ever really wanting to be. Um, so he owns it by the end. I mean, he's a very different guy by the end of the first book. You know, I read the first two because elements of the first two books are in the first two. Of course, and they bring up also all the forward, so you kind of need to know Exactly, and I kind of wanted to understand the whole dynamic of that. But, you know, past, past that, you almost don't want it in the back of your mind while you're performing it because you'll, you'll jump the justifications. And, you know, you start planning how he's going to go, and... I think just as an actor, it makes it easier to take it week by week and having these justifications just build upon themselves mm -hmm. to have the, the way they would be for the character. Exactly. So you're, you're mimicking exactly the way it would be going for him. So every step of the way, his growth is justified. I just, you know, for me personally, having, um, having these books there and having the authors in the writer's room and having them on set every day is such an invaluable resource uh, because... Um, you have everything you need to know every step of the way right there. It's um, amazing. It's been incredible. The continuity and the, the consistency of it. Everyone's committed to that one. Exactly. And, you know, I... And these books are beloved, you know, and it's like, and I, and I understand it because they're brilliant books. And, you know, Space Opera really hasn't had a moment in a long time. And uh, we wanted to stay true to the vision that Tom and Daniel made with these books uh, to the best of our ability visually. You know, I think there's another element to it as well is that there are so many different tones in this show. Like, you have, you've essentially split it into three worlds that Earth, Mars, and the Belt, because I'm sure you guys have heard already. But, you know, Thomas's um, world has a kind of a noirish element to it. Charay's world has this political thriller element to it, and, and we're just trying to survive out in the middle of nowhere. It's kind of got this action element to it. And the books themselves manage to hold all of those elements, and also kind of philosophical elements as well, like the you know, 2001, pulled a lot from different places and managed to hold them with so much grace and, um, and keep, keep the storytelling harmonious. Um, it was really exciting um, for us to try and make sure that actually translated onto, uh, onto the screen because it, it presents so many opportunities to do interesting things. Absolutely. And, and the budget you guys have is amazing as well yeah. for a show, especially for first time the Yeah, it's, um, it, was, uh, it was an incredible luxury. I mean, you know, everybody, everybody from the authors to the actors to the writers in the room, everybody gave everything. And, and the studio themselves, thank you. Um, you know, they really, they really supported us, and they committed to us, and um, they had our back with something that was incredibly ambitious, and um, it, was, it was great across the board. I mean, we had such a fun time shooting. It's amazing. Yeah, it's amazing. I've never been here before, so I, um, it's, uh, it's amazing to be here for the first time with this show and with um, this material and with these people. The energy is amazing because you know this really is for the fans, and you know it's um, it's an infectious thing. This is these are people who genuinely love science fiction and love storytelling, and it's enormous. I mean, you're in a sea of this energy, and um, and I'm and I'm one of those people as well. Like I'm nerding out all over the place here. Like I love this stuff. <laughs> yeah, it's it was extraordinary. I mean, the production design and the show was. Again, epic. I mean, like, we were blowing up sets every two weeks. <laughs> and, like, we had, like... Sorry. It's okay. You're going to finish your thought. Okay. Um, <laughs> we're going to, like... <laughs> you're going to jump on me? Um, you know, 
guys, they, like, we had three enormous sound studios. Like, some of the, I think, I think, and, you know, I think you can call me this, the largest sound studio in North America. That's what I've Just heard. filled with these sets that we were yeah. constantly destroying. I mean, like, and they were all so gorgeous, and you see everyone's giving everything they have, and it almost tears your heart out to see the white tears. I was like, can't we just, like, put it in a museum or something? Or, like, <laughs> can we, like, can we, and, um, <laughs> exactly, like, or donate it or something, like, just don't break it. We don't want to break that. Um, but, you know, for us, like, it, as you're in these sets, I mean, some of them were three stories high, and you're like, you don't have to really imagine being in these ships, because they're made. I mean, like, you're literally walking around them, and they're almost semi-functional, I mean, without the whole, you know, being in space part. Yeah, well, without the whole spine part. But, um, you know, yeah, it was amazing. It was everybody, everybody gave everything they had on the show, and uh, I'm really, really proud.